Hey folks, I'm Dean Young for the Dorkid Arms of Theodore here. Sorry I've been away for a bit. Just school, you know. Uh, here is The Servant Who Loved His Prayers by Rumi. At dawn, a certain rich man wanted to go to the steam baths. He woke his servant, Sun Kerr. Ho! Get moving! Get the basin and the towels and the clay for washing. Let's go to the baths. Sun Kerr immediately collected what was needed, and they set out side by side along the road. As they passed the mosque, the call to prayer sounded. Sun Kerr loved his five times prayer. Please, master, rest on this bench for a while, that I may recite Surah 98, which begins, You who treat your slave with kindness. The master sat on the bench outside while Sun Kerr went in. When prayers were over and the priest and all the worshippers had left still, Sun Kur remained inside. The master waited and waited. Finally, he yelled into the mosque, Sun Kur, why won't you come out? I can't. The clever one won't let me. Have a little more patience. I hear you out there. Seven times the master waited and then shouted. Sun Kur's reply was always the same. Not yet. You won't let me come out yet. But there's nowhere in there's no one in there but you. Everyone else has left. Who makes you sit still so long? The one who keeps me in here is the one who keeps you out there. The same who will not let you in will not let me out. The ocean will not allow its fish out of itself, nor does it let land animals in where the subtle and delicate fish move. The land creatures lumber along on the ground. No, no cleverness can change this. There's only one opener for the lock of these matters. Forget your figuring. Forget yourself. Listen to your friend. When you become totally obedient to that one, you will be free. <sighs> if you guys enjoyed it, uh, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you didn't, and subscribe if you want more. Thanks.